Lanny Davis, attorney for Michael Cohen, is speaking out now, and he made the shocking revelation that he believes that Donald Trump Jr. should be indicted for signing a check that Cohen alleged to be hush money to keep Stormy Daniels quiet about her affair with President Donald Trump. In an interview with Hill.TV's rising hosts Crystal Ball and Sagar and Jetty on Monday, Davis had quite a lot to say about Trump Jr. I do suggest, respectfully, that Donald Jr., based upon signing a hush money check for his father, out of a trust fund, by the way, that was set up to prevent any money being spent that would help Donald Trump while he was president, out of that trust fund is where the Donald Jr. check was written, that is a crime, he should be, in my opinion, respectfully, indicted, based upon just the signing of the check, Davis said. Lanny Davis, attorney for Michael Cohen. Cohen, who testified in February, said that he gave Daniels $130,000 in payments prior to the 2016 presidential elections and he showed two checks in the amounts of $35,000 each, one signed by President Trump and one signed by Alan Weisselberg, CFO of the Trump Organization. President Trump denies the affair and claims that the payments were not in violation of campaign finance laws. Cohen claims they were reimbursements for the payments he gave to Ms. Daniels. Davis said in the interview, there's no allegation or credibility issue here. Federal prosecutors found that Donald Trump directed and coordinated an illegal hush money scheme and the payment of $35,000 a month, the payment of $35,000 a month was a payoff for what was a fictitious legal services retainer agreement, which the federal government prosecutors said never existed. So this is not a matter in dispute. That check signed by our president is a fact that cannot be denied as a felony committed by the President of the United States, which, thanks to Michael Cohen and his testimony, is now before federal prosecutors, they can't indict a president, but they can indict Don Jr. Because the second check was signed by Don Jr., the same $35,000 a month installment payment for the hush money. Davis also disagrees with the punishment Cohen received and believes it should be reconsidered when compared to other penalties given for similar charges. Cohen, who has been cooperating with Congress and the U.S. Attorney's Office, will report to prison in May to serve a three-year sentence on a host of charges including lying to Congress, tax fraud, bank fraud, and more. The most important issue for me is why Mr. Cohen is serving this length of time for what is compared to others who have not paid income taxes, a minor sum of $275,000 a year, whereas Floyd Mayweather didn't pay $18 million a year and got a civil penalty.